The gardens are crisscrossed with a series of paths and I mow the paths and use the grass as mulch and as a fertiliser. So we walk through this archway which is grown from laurels, very fast growing. It's now become a very deep archway. It's about, um, mm, it's about eight foot deep. And we come into where the bulk of the um, soft and hard fruits are planted. So you can see here, we've got black currants, lots and lots of black currants. There's no such thing here as netting the fruit um, because I make sure that I plant enough for my own needs and the needs of the wildlife here, the birds. What would gardens be without the beauty of birdsong? You can see that the apple trees here, to show you some of the fruit that's set in on them, um, they're underplanted with black currants. See the apple? Now the black currant. And the black currants are underplanted with flowers. In this case, this is a geranium. And there's also herbs and comfrey. Here's some dog daisies or oxeye daisies as they're called and raspberry canes and this little beauty here is um, Chinese forget-me-not. Beautiful. Much bee loved <laughs> by the bees. Plum tree and another bed bursting with life.